Now that the camera groups have already been created, it is time to add the actual cameras into the system. To do that, we will open the Add New Camera page and start with the manual function. It means we have to input everything manually, including IP. Let's say it is 10.1.1.55 and it is a megapixel camera and that is the series number. And it is installed in the back entrance so it will belong to the entrances group. This method is especially useful for cameras that are located over internet and for other cameras which are in the same network we use automatic search. It will find all the cameras that are located in the same network no matter how many there are. And they will be listed so we can pick the ones that we want to add to this NVR. I will pick three cameras from this list as an example. This one and it will be channel 2. Remember I already have the channel number 1 that I picked manually earlier. So this is number 3 and one more camera would be number 4. That will do and press add new. And now I will do some small changes such as renaming the camera. It will be front entrance and it belongs to the entrances group. Then the channel number three will be the first floor. And we choose the group. And number four, you can guess, it will be the second floor and it will also belong to the group called floors. There are other ways to add cameras. Press new again and then we choose the method called copy. What it means is that we actually duplicate an existing camera in the list. So it, it would become like a clone of this camera and after that we can just do some minor changes such as renaming it into the elevator 1 and adjust the group accordingly and of course I'll change the IP because that will be a different camera there is one more way go back to the new and pick import this means if you're using more than one NVR, you can actually log into another NVR from here and get the camera information from that in NVR. So if this is a backyard camera, for instance, I can now just pick it from the list of the other NVR and add it to my NVR. And that's done. Of course I can do the changes here if I need to. Now I pick one camera and I'll show you the function of the copy setting. If I want to copy the settings of the third channel into the fifth channel for instance, then this is how it's done. Now the channel number five has similar settings as channel number three. And now I'll show you delete button. If you need to remove the channel, you just do like this. And let me delete this one too. This is how we delete channels.